Hello, how y'all doing? What you say? What? I, I couldn't hear you. Um, I was uh, listening to a podcast. Okay, st let's start off talking about smartphones. Now for me, I was very resistive to smartphones. I didn't see any reason why I needed a camera in my pocket all the time or why I would need a little computer in my pocket. I didn't think I would ever need to look up the cast of some movie that from 1984 or suddenly, suddenly find out how many miles it is to Mars. I didn't think I'd really needed all that information all the time. But over time, I finally got into the smartphone thing and I like it. I like it. I'd like it for all the reasons that everybody else does. Now, podcasts. Like smartphones, it took me a long time to get to podcasts. Um, my son, he's been listening to podcasts for years, and he loves them. Podcasts have probably gotten a bit of a bad reputation in the last few years because there's a lot of political podcasts, and you can find all kinds of opinions and views from the extreme left and the extreme right, and there's some good stuff and there's some horrible stuff. Um, yeah, none of that really made me want to listen to podcasts. I used to listen to books on tape when I was taking long drives. I would listen to mysteries and novels and all these good things, and you'd have a box of cassette tapes with you know, maybe 10 or 12 cassette tapes, and you you know listen to one, put the next one in. Later on, I actually got into listening to books on CD. And it was great on a long drive. If I'm driving up to Georgia to see my sister or something like that, I would listen to in an entire novel in on the drive up to where I was going. It's a good distraction for the road, especially since in the, in many cases, if you're driving a long distance, your radio station go you know, get beyond the reach of your radio station and it fades out. This was, I guess, in the years before people had satellite radios, but. It was a bit of a leap for me personally to move into podcasts. Now, beekeeping podcasts. Yeah, there's a lot of good information. And you find a whole bunch of different podcasts on a lot of different topics. And some of them are in the interview type of format where they'll invite guest speakers onto their show and talk to them, ask them questions and answer it. Some of them are basically narratives some of them are almost like teaching lessons. And there's a number of good ones that I listen to. Well, when do I listen to podcasts? All right, I listen to podcasts on a long drive now. But aside from that, you know I like to ride my bicycle for exercise. And it's nice. You know, from my house, I'll ride to Lake Washington, I'll ride to different places, ride to my daughter's house. Um, if you're riding on your bicycle, it's a good distraction, but what I recommend is what I do. I only put one earpiece in, so I have one ear open for the road in case somebody wants to honk their horn before they run me down or something. <laughs> but sometimes I go on nice long walks, very handy for that. And sometimes I'll even listen to a podcast when I'm doing hive checks for my bees. These are really good ideas. So I'm gonna get into it a little bit with you and I'll show you some of the podcasts that I like and I'll show you how you can find them. Okay, so talking about podcast players. Now, obviously this is an Android phone, but to find a podcast player, basically you go to the app store and then I typed in podcast player earlier. Hope you can see that. So I click on that and I have a lot of options and choices. I mean, there's a whole lot of podcast players that you can get. Um, the one I'm using is this one right here, Podcast Player. Uh, works good. It's all free. Okay, so let's see. So here's my podcast player here. It takes a moment. I'm outdoors here. Had an advertisement to skip. 
And so this is some of the ones that I like. <clears throat> and as you listen to these, it's like being around old friends, basically. Uh, Beekeeper Confidential. This is Mandy Shaw. She's over in, in uh, Oregon. And she's funny. She does a lot of really good guests. And um, this is a real nice one. Uh, beekeeping Short and Sweet. This is Stuart Spinks from Norfolk, England. And he's, he calls himself a beekeeping podcast for the inquisitive beekeeper with a short attention span. And he's good. His, his uh, podcasts are like 15 minutes long. And um, very informative stuff, but from an English perspective. Beekeeping at Five Apple Farm. There's a young lady named Fionia. And this is very good. <laughs> Pardon the noise, my neighbor's cutting stuff up with his chainsaw. But in this one, sustainable beekeeping tips, talk, and how-tos from the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Pretty good. Um, beekeeping Today is a good one. I mean, there's other ones that I listen to, like Essential Korean, because I speak a little bit of Korean, and I try and keep it up a little bit. Um, Honey Bee Obscura. Now, that one is... Um, uh, let's see, short, in-depth review of all things honeybees with hosts Kim Flotum and Jim Tu. All right. Um, Steward the Bees, I didn't care for that much. I haven't really listened much of. Barefoot Beekeeper, not much. Beekeeper's Corner, um, this is pretty good. Beekeeper's Corner will feature information from our local hives, beekeeping meetings, equipment, book reviews, terms and just about anything beekeeping good stuff the buzz about bees didn't really get into that too much the fat bee man weekly chat i really had high hopes for this one but there's only five episodes and they were all from 2017 so um, don the fat bee man did not keep this one up somehow the hive jive now this one i really like and i, I recommend that you look into this one the Hive Jive is, says, what happens when you take a professional fishing guide, pair him with a master beekeeper, and throw in some Texas red-headed mutt, honeybees? Well, we're about to find out. Ken Milam, host of the Great Outdoors and Sunday Sports Fisherman Radio, and professional guide. And so, anyway, so you got a master beekeeper and a fishing guide. But, you know, what was fun with the, with the uh, Hive Jive was... The first year of it, especially when, when Ken Milam, the uh, country fellow, was he, he was just starting out beekeeping and he had a lot of questions and a lot to learn. But those two have good chemistry, and and John Swan is really good. But the the Mac Daddy here is two bees in a podcast. Now, two bees in a podcast is um, hosted by members of the University of Florida's Honey Bee Research and Extension Laboratory. Learn about honey. Uh, look, Laura, sorry. Learn about honeybees, beekeeping research, specialists from around the world, educational yet practical episodes, and so this is um, Jamie Ellis and Amy Vu, but they have a lot of guest speakers and stuff, and this is really interesting stuff. So I highly recommend it. Okay, so that's that's some of the podcasts that I listen to. Now, some podcasts that are very good, you just can't find on the on certain podcast players so this one here is iHeartRadio. now in iHeartRadio, there's a lot of music on here and there's a lot of music stations i like but one i like is oh, got your advertisements so is still new for any of you who is um, the homestead hens and honey now this is calls itself a beekeeping, chicken keeping, and homesteading podcast by a Brit living in Northeast Ohio. So Gemma is the lady's name who does this, and she's very entertaining. Um, I, I'm not a chicken keeper; I've never done that, but it goes her through her journey, starting out with keeping chickens and then starting with bees, and she's very good. But one thing I highly recommend with the um, homestead hens and honey podcast is that Gemma will review books and she did like Tom Seeley's Secret Lives of Bees. She has several episodes listed on that where she just did a synopsis of each chapter and that was well worth it. 
and um, I mean, her, her podcast is worth it just to listen for that. Also, she did the, a, a um, review of Tom Seeley's Honey Bee Democracy, which is really interesting stuff. Um, she's on hiatus right now, but she's got some good stuff here. So these are some of the podcasts that I listen to, and that makes the day go by a lot better. All right, this is Bruce. This is an easy one today.